loves the University of Tennessee. So much so that if he is confirmed, he will do this job without salary. That is UT Board of Trustees Chair John Compton this afternoon announcing he is nominating businessman and former gubernatorial candidate Randy Boyd as interim president of the University of Tennessee system. This move comes just after current system president Dr. Jody Pietro announced he was retiring on Monday and 10 News reporter Mark Salinger joins us live from campus. He was there for this announcement about Randy Boyd. Mark. Yeah, Robin and John, this move comes not even two months since Boyd lost his bid to be the next governor of Tennessee. Now he'll have the chance to lead this multi-campus system. I'm excited to share with you a recommendation I want to make to the Board of Trustees. Two days after UT President Joe DiPietro announced he would leave the school in November, the chairman of the University of Tennessee Board of Trustees announced Randy Boyd is his pick to be the interim president. Randy, as all of you know, is a very successful business person. He's probably even more successful in terms of how he's advocated for education across our state. He was, I think the governor would say, the architect of the Tennessee Promise, the drive for 55. Boyd is an alum of UT and made education a priority of his failed gubernatorial bid. He previously served as Governor Bill Haslam's special advisor on higher education helping to increase the number of Tennesseans with advanced job skills and training. When he spoke with 10 News in August, Boyd said his mission is to improve education in the state. It was always about the mission. It was never about being governor. I, like, being governor was a means to the end, and the end was completing the drive to 55, something I started with Governor Haslam, something I was passionate about, and that was first and foremost and the central driver. Among the challenges facing the school right now, who will be the next chancellor at UT Knoxville? Compton says if approved, Boyd will be very involved in the decision. When we're faced with that decision, yes, Randy would be involved uh, in that search committee. The faculty senate president on campus is keeping an open mind about his appointment. It's unusual to have someone with such a strong background in politics and someone who hasn't had an academic leadership position before, but we're interested and we want to hear more about what his vision is for UT. And the board will meet next Tuesday to vote on that nomination. We hope to speak with Mr. Boyd after he speaks to the board. Robin and John, we'll send it back to you. Mark Salinger live on campus and right now at WBIR.com. A look back at the seven-year tenure of UT President Jody Pietro, who is retiring in the coming months. Also, businessman Randy Boyd's other ongoing projects and his reflections after he lost the Republican primary for governor.